Hi. So we have some platonic solids here. Okay. So there are five platonic solids. So this is a triangular pyramid. So we call this as a triangular pyramid. And this one is a cube. And uh, this is called an octahedron. And uh, the next one is icosahedron. And this solid is actually called the dodecahedron. Now these are all skeletons of these solids. Okay, so I have just formed the skeletons. Now here, these all these five solids are called polyhedrons. Now these are all 3D structures, so you call it as polyhedrons. And you know the 2D structures are called polygons. Now here, let's try to take the uh, triangular uh, pyramid. Now using this triangular pyramid, let's try to understand what is the structure of a tetrahedron. Now is this tetrahedron? Now this is called a triangular pyramid. Now what exactly is the structure of tetrahedron? Now for that, I am going to use uh, something called the soap film. Okay, this is a soap solution. Now when you dip this uh, triangular pyramid into this soap solution and then take it out, you can find out there is some interesting structure which is formed within the uh, triangular pyramid. So let's observe this. Now, so you can see here, uh, there is a film which is formed inside this triangular pyramid. Okay. Now this film, so I am just, just placing the straw here just to show the edges of this film. Okay. So this is the film which is being formed. Now this structure which is formed within this triangular pyramid, that structure is called the tetrahedron. Now, at the same time, we can also compare this or relate this to the methane structure, which is called CH4. Now say, so you will have a carbon atom at this center, and then you have four hydrogen atoms at these corners. So CH4 is this structure. This is the structure of CH4. So you say this is the tetrahedral structure. Now, the interesting part in this is, if you try to blow a bubble at this part of the tetrahedron, Okay, so you can see that you have a triangular bubble. Now this triangle uh, is not a plane triangle because it's a curved triangle and this has different properties. Because the interior, some of the interior angles of this triangle is greater than 180 degree. So, now, if you look at this tetrahedron structure, uh, the, okay. How does this structure is formed within this uh, triangular pyramid? It is actually, uh, we say that this soap film tries to create a minimum surface connecting all the edges. Now, if you look at this triangular pyramid, you can calculate how many number of edges it has. So, these sticks gives you the number of edges, right? So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, there are 6 edges. Now, this is the surface. Now, this tetrahedral surface is the one which connects all the six edges with the minimum surface area. Okay, that is how this structure is formed. Now, so now clearly you can understand uh, the uh, tetrahedral structure and the skeleton of the tetrahedral structure is what we call it as the triangular pyramid. So these platonic solids, it will help us understand all the structures.